Good morning. I'm making pancakes with the berries. Oh, berry compote. Okay. It's kind of weird, but I swear it looks good in real life. Good morning. I'm putting on my cardigan. I always, every time I wear this, I feel like an older person. You know when they're like looking out to sea or something and they're just like, like this is just what I feel like. That's not really the vibe I'm going for, but I kind of, sometimes I just want to feel like that, you know? Sometimes I just want to like, if you know what I mean. Today I think I'm gonna spend the day at home. I was gonna go out and do things, but then I checked my bank account and I only have $20. So I think we're gonna stay at home today, which is fine because I need to clean it anyway. I'm just gonna chill in my house alone. My hair, I don't like it. When it's curly, I literally don't feel like myself and I feel so ugly. And yeah, I don't know what to do about that. I have to oil my hair today and I'm probably just gonna straighten it tonight or tomorrow. So I need to clean a little bit. It's not really like bad because I finally got my apartment like organized. This is literally my first time living alone in my life. I'm 27, which is wild. And I love it. I think I just like wanna live alone. I live in a, a little studio. It's really tiny and cute. I have my TV stand now, which brought most of it together because the TV was on the floor for a while. I moved here in February, February. Ew, why am I saying that word like that? I moved here in February and it's August, so it's been some months. I've been laying down in bed all day. I woke up at 7 a.m. It's 11. I just got out of bed and showered. And I'm gonna try to like do something with my day. I did watch Descendants though. The new one, it was good. The ending I didn't really like, but it was good. I think that's what we're gonna do today. So come along with me. I've already made pancakes. I'm hungry. This is an issue because I have $20 in my bank account. And I don't have many items here for lunch. So my wallet blues are wristband. This is actually really sad. I don't wanna talk about it, but I will be keeping this forever. I will be hanging it up. Ah, ah. Ah, what if I don't want to? What if I don't want to do the dishes today? I already did them this morning before I made my pancakes and now I have to do them again because the stuff for my pancakes is in there. If I just want to play Minecraft, I need to get more iron gummies. I want to put on music on my speaker. Now we're going to clean. It's like not fully done, but it's better than it was and it's made a lot of progress that I'm happy with. Oh, I should water my plant really quick. That's my closet. Kitchen. Oh, I need to find something to eat. What can I eat? First things first, does this plant need water? Oh, yeah. I've never been able to keep plants alive before and I didn't know what I was doing wrong, but I think I was just over watering them. I just gotta like let them be, water them when they really, really need it basically. But I thought they would just die if I didn't water them. But like this, she's been doing good. Look at her. And I just let her do her thing and then water her every once in a while. I definitely was like so scared of underwatering them and killing them that I was killing them by overwatering them. Oh, I didn't fucking put my clothes away. Okay, I'm gonna do that right now. Just made a smoothie. Why is it like half of a fucking smoothie? It's literally like, anytime I make smoothies, I don't know why, no matter how much I put in that fucking blender, it's nothing. This is like two sips. It's good. Sorry guys, I'm hanging.
angry. I'm also bored. I don't know what to do with myself anymore. I don't want to be home. But I also don't want to go anywhere. Like, I kind of just wish I could not exist for, like, the next 10 hours. I'm bored of Love Island. Everyone is honestly kind of annoying me a lot on the show. I literally just drove. Like, I'm not even kidding with you right now. I just drove for, like, 15 minutes. A circle just trying to figure out what I want to eat and ended up not getting anything. I was like, oh, I'll get tropical smoothie. And then I was like, girl, you don't have $12 for a smoothie and a quesadilla right now. So no, you're not getting tropical smoothie. So I made a smoothie at home. Anyways, so I'm not allowing, allowing myself to go on my phone for the rest of the night. I'll try. I think I'm going to watch A Good Girl's Guide to Murder because I think it just came out on Netflix. And I read the book a while ago and I really liked it. So I think I might do that. The thing is, I want to be immersed in a book and like loving the characters loving the plot like loving the book like fully brain in the book i am the main character that's what i want right now but like i don't want to start a book because i could start a book and it not be good and it not be like what i want and i'm not gonna get immersed in it and then i'm just gonna be disappointed but i just want to be in like a fantasy world like immersed in it. like i wish i was like in the middle of reading like a big fantasy series and just fully in it and that's just what I want right now. That's really what I want. Craving to, like I need to open the book again and read again or I'm gonna pass away. <laughs> kind of sad that I missed chapel last night, but it's okay because that crowd was fucking massive. I just went to Wawa and I got this. I am obsessed with this. I think it's so fucking good. It's just a chocolate banana protein shake. If you see this, try it. I don't know how good it is for you, but it's a plant-based shake. I just think it tastes really good. It definitely has that like protein powder chalkiness to it, but that doesn't really bother me that much if the flavor is not bad. I like it and I needed protein because I had buttered pasta for dinner. I also got water. I just oiled my hair. I don't know why I said that so aggressively. I just oiled my hair and I'm gonna let it sit for like, I actually don't know how long I'm supposed to let it sit but I'm just gonna let it sit as long as I want until I'm ready to shower. But I think I want bangs. Not like full bangs, but just like something. I know exactly what I want. I just don't know if I have the capabilities to do it to myself, but we're gonna try. Cause regardless, it grows back and also I can probably fix it. I'm on episode four of, what's this show called? A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I'm like a quarter into episode four. I was drawing, I was sketching a little. These were literally just quick little doodles while I was watching the show to get off my fucking phone and I'm about to do more. I sketched Waffle. That's Waffle. He's cute. That's my, I have a keychain on my wall. That's like a pirate pumpkin. This is a little octopus face. I tried to draw Waffle and he would not stay still. And then I drew, I started drawing my bookcase. This is the pirate face. I just was like sitting on my chair and I saw that and I was like, why not draw it? And then that's the octopus. I mean, Hold on now, hold on. There's my show. There's my bookshelf. Really, I'm not done drawing that. Zoomed in. That's what I've been doing. Baby, you can't be I need to stop picking up my phone. It's so bad. What the hell? I wonder if there's any good books on my I iPad. Kindle. I just need a short, quick, spicy entertaining book like short and nothing's really given that everything is like boring me everything's kind of like mm. i had to reset my whole kindle for many reasons basically my kindle was linked to someone else's amazon account and i don't talk to that person anymore so i had to like wipe it so i lost like all the books that i was in the middle of all the books that i had like downloaded and stuff i just need to go back and like see what i want to read living alone is a great experience i highly recommend if you are able but also sometimes it's just like what the when i lived with someone else i still also had those moments where i was just like staring at a wall feeling like i'm losing my mind so i guess it just kind of depends on the day i think it's, I think it's just my luteal phase if we're being honest i think that's what it is I think that's why i'm feeling like a lump of turd i truly love living by myself i don't know i'm not opposed to living with roommates if i find the right person or people kiss me As long as one of the best things I've ever heard. What was I gonna say? So, I think I wanna move states. I'm contemplating, I don't know yet, because I'm wondering if I should stay here and just travel more or if I just wanna move states. 
because next year I'll hit my 10 year mark here, which is crazy. Pearl is on Netflix. Oh, August 16th. August 16th, I'm watching Pearl on Netflix. I was thinking about like my family's here and like my friends are here. If I could stay somewhere, even if I stayed with my family for a little bit and just like traveled, I think I'm gonna do that regardless, but I'm either gonna like stay with them for a bit and travel and figure out where I wanna move or just stay here and live in an area I like and just travel a lot. What am I even talking about at this point? Four grams of sugar is 8% of your daily value. That's a lot. So I've already probably had a lot of sugar. Dude, I have big ass bruises. I don't even know if you can see them anymore. They're like yellow. On my legs, my legs are a little bit hairy. I went to a rage room with my friends for my friend's birthday and I hit myself with a crowbar twice on accident. It really wasn't that bad, but be careful y'all. That's why they make you sign waivers. It was fun. I'm gonna watch Twilight. Bad. I'm gonna have a Twilight day. I just want it to like rain and me to watch Twilight for like, I just wanna, you know what I really want? I want to go to a cabin in the mountains, but like in a town, so I'm not like gonna get murdered. In like a cute safe town where it's like rainy and nice and I can like hike some days. I wanna go for like a week and just like read my books, hike, and just watch Twilight. Like I just, at the end of the night, I'm just like curled up watching Twilight as it's raining outside and there's like a fireplace. That would be so nice. Wow. It's so crazy because I'm literally 27 and I'm starting over. My life is starting over basically. Not starting over, but like a lot of things are starting over and I'm starting from scratch and it's so crazy. And honestly, to be so honest, I was thinking about this yesterday after I went to the beach. I just have been kind of stressed the last few months and yesterday it just kind of hit me that like, I am living alone. I have my own shit. I have my own car. I pay for all my stuff. Like I take care of myself. It just hit me that like, I'm proud of myself and I never really, I don't know, I get caught up a lot in Oh, I wish I had this. I wish I had that. I wish these things were different. I wish my apartment was nicer. I wish I had this and this and all these things. But like, I really had to stop and be like, girl, a year ago, two years ago, for the past six fucking years, I never thought I would get out of this, get out of the situation I was stuck in. Two years ago, I was so miserable and I felt so stuck. Even like, up to a year ago. I was like, I don't know how to get out of this situation. I feel like I'm never gonna get out of this situation. I just literally, I didn't see how I would ever get out. I didn't see how I would ever be able to do anything by myself, pay for anything by myself, have my own apartment. I didn't see how I was gonna be okay. And I am now. And that shit is crazy. Like I did it, bro. Like I'm out. And like that shit actually makes me wanna cry, but I'm not going to. But like I'm free, bitch. I'm fucking free. I just wanna hug old me. I just wanna give her a hug and just like hold her and be like, girl, you're gonna get out and you're gonna be okay. And this is gonna end. That shit was killing me. And I just like, it blows my mind that I got out. And even if I'm not in like the most perfect, amazing situation, the, my dream situation, like it doesn't matter. I can, I'm gonna get there. I'm already so far ahead of where I was. I get actually like, I, it makes me so happy. If you feel like you're stuck somewhere, you can do it. You can get out. If you do get out, just realize you did that shit. And like, look around, bro. Look around and look at all the things, how far you've come. Wherever you're at, look around and see how far you've come. And know that you will get out of that shitty situation. You will get away from that shitty person. You will be okay. I literally never thought I would be okay. Like I just never, like I hoped and I really hoped, but I just was like, this is gonna be such a deep wound that I didn't think I would heal from it. Blow up your fucking life. Blow up your life. Start from scratch. Don't settle for anything less than what you want at all. I think so many people settle and it's scary because you're like, what if I can't do this by myself? What if this is the wrong choice? I have to completely start over. It's so fucking worth it, bro. It's literally so worth it. Blow up your life. Like, if that's what you want, do it. And I mean that in like, if your choice is between staying with someone or staying in a situation that is horrible, if your choice is between that and blowing everything up, having to start over, having to be hurt, do it. And I'm not, every situation is the same. And I know some are harder than others and circumstances are different but if you are able to you'll figure it out and you'll be okay it's just so i literally was in the shittiest fucking shithole like 
for years, dude. Like literally like six, seven years. And I never thought I would get out. Also, don't let anyone ever talk you into staying with them because they'll probably just end up... Do what your heart tells you to. If you don't want to be with one, someone, don't. Don't allow them to convince you to stay, especially if it's shitty because they'll probably just screw you over anyway. It's raining out. Healing from a shitty relationship, it takes a long ass time. It's not overnight. I don't fucking care anymore, bro. Like, what the fuck? I literally, I'm just really fucking happy. Let yourself, okay, like literally, last thing, let yourself feel. Because when you leave a situation like that, you're gonna be, so hurt and like did i do the right thing was all of it a lie just so many things like i literally would think in my head like only the good things would pop up like the good memories and i'd be like what did i do like was it actually bad or was i just like crazy and i'm like girl no it was fucking bad you have so much proof that it, it was bad not only that but like your mind will try to try to trick you a little and it'll be fucking sad and you'll be so sad for a little bit for a little bit okay and it will fucking pass. It will pass and you literally, that's it. Like, it's gone. Bye, it's over. All you have to do is like, allow yourself to feel. And I mean, all you have to do is like, as in, it's easy, it's not fucking easy. It's horrible. But you have to let yourself sit in that fucking horrible pain for as long as you need to. And then one day, you'll be like, hold on. The pain is gone. Just like look up and it, realize you're fine. Tear your life apart and allow yourself to hurt. Anyways, that's it for my yap. My long ass fucking yap. Yap forever, for real. Oh, why do I look like that? I'm gonna watch my show. Resume. There's Daisy Buchanan and Jay Gatsby. It's 9 p.m. Oh my God, it's 9 p.m. on the dot. Whoa. I just showered and it feels so much better. Sometimes you just need to shower. Don't cry, you just need to shower. Just have a little cleanse. I am so tired and I don't know why. I'm on the last episode, episode six. I didn't know there were only six episodes, but I kind of like it. I was on like episode four and I was like, oh, I feel like it's gonna end soon. I was like, wait, it's only episode four. There's probably like at least four more episodes. But then I looked and I was like, oh, I kind of like the shortness. I feel like it's the perfect length for the story and it's not like super dragged out or anything i've literally watched all six episodes today how did i do that are they all an hour long oh no they're not the earlier ones are like 40 45 well that's still a lot i literally don't remember the ending really like i don't remember who did what who done it and i kind of have like a little bit of like i think i know but i don't think i really know so we're gonna see i literally read this book so long ago i remember bits and pieces of it but i don't remember the ending so i'm really liking it though and the casting is so good and i just like this last episode episode five had me like oh book i'm loving it i'm gonna finish this and go to sleep but I'll let you know how it is before I go to sleep. My thoughts, my review. <laughs> I just finished the last episode, really enjoyed it. I definitely knew who the person was. Like I had it in my head the whole time. I was like, I feel like this person is involved somehow. I just couldn't remember how, and I was right. I didn't remember how or like anything else. That was really good. I really, really, really liked it a lot. I need to watch more tv was like that was good and i was invested for the whole fucking six episodes that i just watched like i was locked give me your recommendations wasn't there a podcast in the book or am i crazy i thought they like do or start a podcast maybe that's like the second book i didn't read the second book but i think maybe like the end of the first book or something they're like oh we're starting a murder podcast murder mystery podcast or something like that i don't know i need to look also her room is like exactly how i pictured it you know when they like just do something like good like the set design or like something like i don't know i like that a lot i like that it was six episodes but also like now what do i watch now what do i watch guys i want more of my favorite books to be shows and movies so i would love to be in one just cast me in one why not that's what i needed remember when i said i was i wanted to be like sucked into a book this show fulfilled that for me anyways great go watch it that's it i'm going to sleep i'm tired saving bikini bottom no no no
No, 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 I'm good. That actually looks terrifying. Good night. Thanks for watching.